Welcome to Chicago Arts. In this episode, we're talking to John Himmelfarb about his most recent truck assemblage project. Maybe four or five, six years. As, as, a, as an isolated image, uh, the truck as a character goes back as far as I can remember. You can find it's not in every piece by any means, but it's uh, often an element in a, a print or a drawing or a painting going back to the early 70s. And I don't, you know, I played with trucks as a kid. I don't know, I just have a, a boy's fascination with, with trucks. And then there's a whole the narrative quality of trucks and children's stories as well. I think uh, it's easy for me to anthropomorphize around a truck and see a truck as a stand-in for us and our civilization or us as individuals. There are some issues about uh, what it looks like in terms of whether it's a, a work of art. Does it look like a work of art? Does it look like a, a, a scrapper's pickup truck? Or does it look like a, uh, a working utility vehicle that has a job to do? And I was trying to play the edge between those different possibilities so that you could say, well, is this, this vehicle does have a task. It's, it's on its way to get something done. Or being read as this is the dregs of civilization. This is us on the way down the tubes just... Uh, sitting in our own pile of debris uh, or looking at it as purely as a formal sculpture, uh, which will be probably the third thing that people come to, you know, because you, it's so narrative, uh, it takes people a while to stand back and say, well, how does it work visually? Basically, you know, having been in the city all these years and seen a million scrappers going down the alleys picking up things and sometimes they just naturally uh, end up beautifully organized and they look like sculpture. In Mexico we see uh, trucks loaded up to the sky you know, improbably high and covered everywhere with decorative objects as well as with the stuff they're carrying. Uh, and I've seen similar photos from other cultures. India have a a niece who's in India and has been sending me truck photographs from there. And same same idea. You just get as many as many cubic feet of load per tire as possible. If if I if I just finish it on my own uh, with my limited budget and my predilections would be to uh, change a few of the colors on some of the found objects that don't quite work for me in composition uh, and then sandblast the body of the truck and let it rust. Uh, I might wax it to stabilize it after that. That would be about it. I'm mean, going to have to get it all welded together. Uh, there are some other details I'm going to work on. Well, it's, it, uh, you know, I've continually get off into areas that I know nothing about, and this uh, truck is, is another good example, and I, I have to say I can only do that because I have a, a lot of friends and colleagues who are willing to jump in and, and coach me and spend time and uh, get involved. Even the Kohler experience I wouldn't have been able to pull off without, without uh, friends coming up to help, help me out. Be sure to check out John's website at www.johnhimmelfarb.com. Thank you for watching Chicago Arts. Be sure to join us for our next episode and stay informed by subscribing to our channel. We want to hear what you think, so please take a moment to comment on our programming. Thank you again from Chicago Arts.